Hello, Michael Church here with CrawlspaceNinja.com and welcome to five crawl space encapsulation mistakes you should avoid. So why are there so many crawl space encapsulation mistakes? There is no standard when it comes to encapsulating your crawl space. You have spec home builders that are building crawl spaces one way and you have custom home builders building crawl spaces another. And guess what? They're both acceptable by codes enforcement. Just remember, crawl space encapsulation mistakes could cost you thousands plus headaches for years to come. So make sure if somebody's mentioning to you that you should do these five things, you may want to get a second opinion. Mistake number one, we don't need to remove that batting insulation to address the mold. Really? My question is, how is you as a homeowner be sure that the company you're hiring to address the mold has addressed the mold if they didn't remove the batting insulation? Mold can't grow behind insulation, right? <laughs> Wrong! Mold can grow anywhere on any organic material and a lot of times the paper that is on the back of the insulation traps moisture between the subfloor and the insulation giving it a more opportune time to grow. But I thought the paper couldn't grow mold. Wrong again! That craft paper we pulled thousands and thousands of square feet of crawl space insulation to find mold all over the paper backing that was put on there. Yes! the paper can grow mold. If the paper's growing mold, the floor joist and the subfloor could be growing mold. So make sure you pull that insulation out to ensure that the mold is addressed properly. Okay, crawl space mistake number two that we come across a lot of crawl space encapsulation companies will tell you to just put a disinfectant on the mold, just spray it. You don't have to remove it. That is a huge mistake. So what do I mean by removing the mold? I mean physically removing the mold. If you apply a disinfectant to wood without physically removing the mold, in other words, you're, just, you're attempting to kill the mold, but you don't want to remove it. If you apply that disinfectant to the wood, you're going to have issues later whenever you go to sell the house. The home inspector is going to crawl up underneath there. You include mold removal as part of the disinfection process. Okay, the third mistake that people often make when encapsulating their crawl space is they choose not to insulate the crawl space. But when you go to sell the house, if the house isn't properly insulated, then you're gonna have issues moving that. You're gonna have to insulate it anyway. So why not just go ahead and take care of the insulation? You can enjoy the comfort, energy savings of having an insulated crawl space. By the way, before I move on, I think it's important to note that building code does require crawl spaces to be insulated. Mistake number four that we find, crawl space encapsulation company will actually tell the homeowner that the dehumidifier will kill the mold. That is not true. Dehumidification does not kill mold. Okay, the last mistake that we find a lot of crawl space encapsulation companies do, they use the heating and air system to control humidity in the crawl space. But what you gotta take into consideration is two things. Number one, if this is a remodel job or if you're an existing home, chances are that the AC unit that they installed is not properly sized to include that crawl space. But even if you do have a properly sized heating and air unit, let me throw this out there. What if you decide not to run your AC in the spring and the fall? The problem is, is that if the AC isn't running, then the humidity in the crawl space is getting out of control. We have done many mold remediation projects for homeowners that have decided or got talked into conditioning their crawl space with their heating and air unit. Well, I just want to thank you again for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great and blessed day.